Hi everybody, it's June 20, 2018. The video that I posted on the Upper Peninsula in Michigan, well, that is not the only location that has experienced flash, flooding, tornadoes, hail, damage, destruction. It is going on all over the place and in these areas that I'm going to be showing you, but I'm going to be focusing on South Texas. Once again, experiencing flooding but Oklahoma supercells. What a surprise. Can't play this video because I'll probably get a copyright strike. I will link below to everything. I see this and tornado touchdown in Lincoln. I thought it was Lincoln, Nebraska. But then I see Concord and I'm like, okay. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. The storms that swept through New Hampshire on Tuesday did plenty of damage, but only in a straight line. It appears that one tornado funnel touched down near Lincoln, New Hampshire. Didn't do any damage, thank God. Gusts of winds were up to 50 miles per hour, knocked out power for many thousands of people around the state, and caused other damage, blocking numerous roads with downed power lines. Didn't do any damage, did do damage. Okay, but no injuries were reported. Hail, tornadoes, heavy rain make for wild weather in Colorado. Everything that I'm showing you is within the last two days. Baseball sized hail in one area with a tornado or tornadoes hitting Colorado. Another area, golf ball sized hail and that came with tornadoes as well. Flash flooding in Nebraska, southeast. Seven inches of rainfall fell within what period of time? Don't know. Can't get to this article because it wants me to turn my ad blocker off. What is this? Storms leave flooding and damage in central Nebraska as well as western Kansas. Listen, what, uh, all right. <sighs> Rockford, Illinois. To that major flash flooding across the Midwest, severe storms causing major damage, forcing rescues like this one in Rockford, Illinois. Take a look at that. ABC's Alex Perez there with the very latest. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning. I'm sorry, I think that's a little bit too loud, so I'm going to turn it down just a bit. Just a bit. Amy, luckily that resident is going to be okay, but it was a rough night of flooding here across the Rockford area. Many areas, take a look, ended up just like this one, cars floating away in the flood. Overnight, a flash flood emergency. Drivers stranded, water rising inside a hospital. This was the scene in Rockford, Illinois. Water picking up and carrying away that car. Wait, give me a to People jumping into action, smashing the windows, an elderly man trapped inside. Everyone working together, miraculously, the man pulled to safety. That Cadillac submerged nose first. Emergency crews are scrambling to the scene as more stranded drivers wait to be rescued. This man out of his car, waving at drivers to stop. Our hospital is flooding. And check out the halls of Mercy Health Hospital. Water streaming through the hallways. There's a river here. The water's not stopping. Flash floating through patients evacuated overnight. And in Wisconsin, a state of emergency has been declared after a dam failure. Raging water can be seen pouring right through the broken dam, flowing for miles downstream across the border into Minnesota. And just to give you an idea, residents here got about five inches of rain in three and a half hours. Many residents here are now beginning that process of assessing the damage. Amy? I guess now flash flooding is the thing that they want to bring to everybody. Do damage in the least amount of time. Port Arthur, Texas. Again, there are so many areas that get hit time and time 
again, again, Port Arthur, Texas. This just occurred. This was posted on June 19. This, Kansas, flash flooding, June 19. Heavy rains cause flash flooding in central Iowa. Week of rain throughout Iowa expected to cause flash river flooding. This posted just today. Summer storms drop flooding rain in parts of Alabama. Alabama. The water is piling up in some of the suburbs. A water rescue from a car. Weather Service said between 6 to 8 inches of rain fell earlier today in parts of Russell and Lee counties. Flash flooding in Birmingham creates stunning video, though it's not so stunning, not after you have seen so much real destruction taking place. All you're seeing is a lot of water, muddy water, rolling down this street. But Texas. This was posted an hour ago. Residents urged to seek higher ground. Victoria, Corpus Christi, McAllen, Alice, uh, Alamo, San Juan, Edinburgh, Mission, Far, Hildegato, Elsa, Palmhurst, North McAllen, Ingleside, Port Aransas. I don't know if I pronounced that right. This is a particularly, particularly dangerous situation. Seek higher ground now. Heavy rain flooding will continue for Midwest and South throughout the week. The heavy rains and hail destroyed this family's strawberry farm. Droughts, farmers, they're seeking forage options as drought cuts into grass growth. You're not hearing unless you seek it out all of what is taking place all over the country with these storms. What are they doing to the farms? What are they doing to the crops? Now I look at this and I think good destroy the corn because all corn is genetically modified. But then you have to step back and realize that all of these farmers are being destroyed. And the crops, food shortages, higher prices, we all get affected. But this is what is happening in Texas again. More than a foot of rain in Texas is flooding roads and forcing water rescues. Flash flood watches are, and warnings are in effect this morning. Courtney Zubowski in, is in Corpus Christi, which is under a flash flood warning. Courtney, good morning. Yeah, we're in the middle of that warning right now. As you can see, this water rushing into the intersection. This is actually the area where we saw water rescues last night. Many Texans, many of those still recovering from Hurricane Harvey, are being affected by these heavy rains. In Corpus Christi, the fire department was spread across the city, forcing uh, and helping drivers to uh, get out of their cars. Many of them had to abandon their cars. In Port Arthur, more than 12 inches of rain flooded streets, forcing drivers to abandon their cars in the middle of roadways. And more than a dozen homes in Orange County were damaged after rising floodwaters rushed in. Many of these homes flooded during Hurricane Harvey last August and were in the process of being rebuilt. Heavy thunderstorms are expected in this area through Thursday, and the flooding threat continues. Scale. Some of the footage that we saw last night, um, again from this area and just throughout town, of many cars being abandoned or be getting stuck in water. There was 
Plenty of high water rescues last night when I spoke to the Corpus Christi Police Department early this morning. They told me that they didn't have an exact number of how many abandoned cars, but they knew that there was at least a dozen and they didn't have an exact number of how many high water rescues, but there were numerous. Uh, they told me numerous rescues last night during the night uh, with all of the flooding that's been going on and all of the cars getting abandoned. We do want to show you, hopefully we can show you some viewer video uh, that was sent to us late last night about 11 o'clock on our Facebook page by Nathan Campbell and he was actually on top of Crosstown right here at the overpass of Port in Crosstown right where I'm standing and as you can see in that video looking down uh, it kind of slows down a little bit. You can see all the tops of the cars that are down there and again I just want to stress, we hear the phrase many times, turn around, don't drown, but I'm telling you guys, it rains true. We're seeing it right here this morning. That car has been stalled out now for about 20 minutes. If you see over here to our left, this car is trying to get through. It didn't look like that it's that deep, but once you start driving, I'm telling you people, it gets a lot deeper than you really think it is. So you see this guy? I don't know his name, and I believe he is the weather modification director I might be wrong on that title. This man, a friend, subscriber of mine who lives in Dallas, Texas, called him. She called him. And the response that she got, if I'm remembering correctly, she said he, he, he was like a child. He was laughing and he was uh, dismissing what she was saying about the weather modification. This is the man who is in charge of weather modification in Texas and he was dismissing everything that she was saying. This is what he said in an interview. This summer? This summer. You, you succeeded in increasing rainfall? Uh, south of San Antonio we had aircraft flying on a dozen days in the month of July treating what we deem to be seedable storms. And what was the result of that? Uh, the same result that we've seen since it started in 1997. Some clouds respond very well. Some clouds respond only to a limited degree. Maybe one or two instances when uh, one or two instances when clouds didn't respond as we had hoped probably because we got to them too late. And when you say they responded very well, what does that mean? It means that the storm lived longer and produced more rain over a larger area. Did you hear that? They can create rain over larger areas for longer periods of time. Think Harvey, four days. And it flooded out over a million homes. This is the destruction that we are witnessing every, with every weather event, whether it is the hurricanes that they create to take out over a million people, or it's these flash flooding weather events that are occurring all over the country. We have federal agencies, state agencies, municipalities, private companies, all involved in weather modification, Texans, you guys, you've got so much information available to you. And that subscriber slash friend who contacted this guy, you've got videos of the Weather Modification Advisory Committee. Here he is reporting on the success of the weather modification projects. I hope that subscriber friend will leave the contact information, his name, telephone number. All of you should be contacting him. Can't say you're going to get any different result or response from him that my friend got who lived, my friend in Dallas got, but if you could get more Texans, keep calling these people, get in their face, go to his office, get a group of you to go to his office. How can you stand watching the destruction that is taking place in your area over and over and over again? 
This, Summary of Rain Enhancement. The history of Texans using cloud seeding to lessen the impact of periodic, often severe droughts is lengthy and fascinating, but this paragraph alone should wake every Texan up. Texas's present-day clouding seeding efforts are much more than well-considered responses to drought. However, they are also concerted efforts using the latest technological tools and understanding to replenish fresh water supplies and aquifers and reservoirs, as well as to help meet the ground needs of agriculture, industry, and municipalities. For fresh water, political subdivisions like water conservation districts and county commissions have embraced the technology of rain enhancement as one element of a long-term water management strategy designed to ensure a growing population has enough water to meet its future needs. Here, the information, your county commissioners, your, your town council members, they know. So when you speak to them and they are acting like they don't know, well, maybe some new member might not know, but this is insane that we are living a time when this guy addresses the Weather Modification Advisory Committee in Texas talking about the success of these weather modification projects and then a, 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 a resident of Texas calls him and he dismisses that any of this weather modification is going on. This guy should be publicly shamed as far as I'm concerned. Here, you've got so many projects going on in Texas alone. Um, weather, uh, you've got weather modification associations. West Texas, the Weather Modification Association. South Texas, Edwards Act Aquifier Authority involved in weather modification, the Panhandle Groundwater Cons Conservation District, the Trans Picos, is that how you pronounce it? Weather Modification Associations, the Rolling Plains Project, and they have contact information. Please, please contact, contact these people. Your Weather Modification Advisory Committee. They post videos on YouTube. All right, this is what I saw on the 17th. Storms fried by frequencies. You can see all of the defined precipitation. That's not how Mother Nature works. All of the ultra low frequencies, all of the defined lines within the precipitation, all of the jagged edges, all of that is created by frequencies. And this is in the Gulf of Mexico. The clouds were very obviously manufactured. This is on the 17th. Sorry for the noise. manufactured cloud. You can see the frequencies, all of the lines. I believe that they are creating cloud substance along with the geoengineering because you can see both being manufactured. This was on the 17th. The next right heart brings. Bringing in your flash flooding. Now they can cloud seed and they can use the next red Harper, uh, the Doppler radar stations to superheat those areas. That's the red that you are seeing, the Upper Peninsula, right down in the Gulf, where you see the next red Harper rings. This is the 19th. Ongoing. So they can use the extremely low frequencies. Doppler radar, cloud seed, voila, you've got flash flooding and a whole lot of damage. Here I'm showing you a beam is being hit. That storm is being hit. But as well, 
you know, the areas Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas, um, Iowa, all of those areas, I captured the frequencies being used. It's hard to live this over and over and over again, guys. You see the harp ring at the top of that storm. You can see the harp rings throughout the storm. I can't take captures of pictures and blow them up to show you, but I've shown you in videos over and over and over again. The nearby states, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, next rat harp rings, ultra low frequencies. When it gets so obvious, and then you have to experience the witnessing the destruction, it's hard. 